All righty then, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the now Thursday night live stream search for silver with me, Raven of Ravenhawk Coins, Death Logic, Ty Hitman, first in the room. Welcome back. All righty, let's get this rocking and rolling, everybody. I hope you're having a good night. I will be in chat real quick to say hi to everybody. Let me set up the quick giveaway. Well, the giveaway, I should say, the first one. This is the early bird. And like I said earlier, this is going to be for uh, a keychain, Jefferson Nickel, and some stickers. So here we go. Uh, put a timer on there and get it rocking. And I apologize for the problem er, a minute ago. I do not know what the problem is with uh, Streamlab and OBS, but now that I'm just doing straight OBS, it seems to be just fine. Alrighty, guys. So I see. Let's get back into this. Coin Hunter Chris chucking for silver. Chris Nab, Shane Kennedy, Wolfie Olin, The Miss Wolfie, Leslie W, Bill, King of the LTD, Gibson, Version 6.9, Michael and Lord Zachary Burnett is here, Dr. Dazed, Aiden Gallegos, The Flying Dutchman, Walter Winner, Jaji Mood Music Man Coins, how you doing? Good to see you, Silver Banky, Daniel D'Ambrosio, D. Wayne Mansell, Aiden Gallegos. Uh, 47 says, I was offered COVID and, uh, a COVID vaccine and turned it down. Wow, man. You're a brave soul. B&K Golden Coins, how you doing? Wolfie Olin, I got your package in. Thank you very much. I also got a package from David Sr. that we're going to open tonight. His and hers coins. How you doing, Movado Soldado? How you doing, my brother? Leslie W. Jack Gallman. Marion, North Carolina. Working tonight, but he's here showing some love. Vern LaPointe. How you doing? Uh, let's see here. Colorado Coin Hunting. Good to see you. Ohio Coin Collector. j Dog. Oh, you didn't know? You better call somebody. HD Flathead is here. Good to see Brian Smouse in the house. What up again, Shane Kennedy? Uh, Silver Wishes is here. How you doing, Silver Wishes? Good to see you. Good to see you. Uh, let's see here. C M Silver in the house with Katie Bailey, Roy Hathaway, Vern Lapointe. Good to see you. I hope I, I think I said uh, Dr. Days. Then we have his and her coins along with Miss His and Hers coins. I appreciate the love from everybody. Happy Bears. My brother Canadian Ryan in the mix. What is going on? Michael Hargis. Yes, we are back, my friend. Um, the VA was literally caught literally poisoning veterans last summer. Wow. Catfish Arg in the mix. How you doing, Catfish? Um, Roy Hathaway. How you doing, Roy? Good to see you, my friend. And uh, hunted your first two boxes, found six in IFCs, one forty percenter. Hey, you still got silver, brother. That's what's positive, you know. I mean, you, you just never know. So those that have not seen the keychain, this is uh, an example under the scope. Uh, when you get the keychain home, there is a little bit of a coating on it on the front to keep it uh, protected. I thought it was to peel the back. Nope. It's actually a little plastic on the front. Uh, so that's something to keep in mind if you win one. Uh, Bill's Coins and Treasure. How you doing, my friend? He says hello again to everybody. Uh, let's see here. Larry Powell the second. Good to see you, buddy. Hope you're doing well. Robert Saves History. J Dog says, "Cool, cool keychain. Thank you, my friend. Did Ty buy all the rolls again? Not nah, tonight. Uh, the lineup. He uh, he only got he got seven rolls. So uh, Ty Ty uh, was taking it easy on everybody. 
All right, guys. So let me. I'm getting some feedback here. Let me make sure that that's not messing everybody up too much. All righty, guys. Let's start off the evening with the first person on the list, and that is Doctor Dazed. Now, Doctor Dazed, he gets his ounce of silver. We're gonna open a fresh box here. Move this keyboard out of the way. Show you. Bing. And we are going to get it open here in just one second. Hopefully there's some cool silver enders. Let's see. We're cracking it open. I don't see anything obvious on the top. But you know, guys, that doesn't mean we're not going to find anything. You know? You never know. All right. So here we go. Two, four, six, and number seven, guys. Keeping those fingers crossed. Hope we find some good stuff tonight. Let's see what he gets as a pull. Uh, and Wolfie Olin. Oh, we got a silver dime, so he's getting the Merc. Uh, Wolfie... Um, I got your package, and I also got one from Dave Sr. I'm going to open those up tonight. Frank P. in the place to be. What's up, my brother? Good to see Matt D. Uh, <laughs> uh, Chris Nab says, let's find some silver. Let's hope we do. All right, here we go. First roll. I don't see anything super obvious. And, of course, my box that I use to throw stuff in is... Just out of throwing reach. And Matt D, I'm still looking for a better 1983 for you, brother. I have not forgotten you. Eric Moritz, how you doing, brother? Good to see you. Says, first time I've made it. Um, I'm sorry, it went by pretty quick there on me. Uh, first time I made it, club meeting this evening, so we'll stay as long as I can. Well, hey, man, thanks for being here. Just W, how you doing, my brother or friend? Hope you're having a good day. Staying out of trouble. Oh, man. Hold on. Let me. <laughs> I got it with my toes. All righty. I feel talented now. What am I going to do? Shark bait, lucky. Shark bait. Ooh, ha, ha. What up, my friend? How you doing? He's going to Mount Wanahakaluge. Finding Nebo, that is such a great movie, guys. I um guys, I saw this documentary. Hey, Emerald City Diggers, how you doing, my friend? I saw a documentary last night. And um, it was called The Long Shot, and it's a story about this Hispanic gentleman in San, uh, Los Angeles who had been accused of murder and people actually you know said because of a composite witness sketch and everything yeah 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 that was the guy well if you have netflix check it out it's called long shot and you will not believe the circumstances that surround the whole story i don't want to say too much because i don't want to mess it up for you guys but it's a pretty good one what's up a foot for silver a foot in the mix. Is that... That is interesting looking. I'm trying to see what the mint mark is. My eyes sometimes fool me these days, guys. And uh, Yep, that's a Denver. And it is an NI... Nope. It's a 1999. <laughs> Have I watched Designated Survivor? No, I've never seen that before, my friend. Because <laughs> a foot for silver is a good dude. He supports the show, Dr. Dazed. <laughs> All righty, guys. Let me see where we're at. We're in the giveaway real quick for everybody. It's time to pick the early bird winner for a keychain, some stickers, and... A proof nickel. We're going to pick that winner in three, two, one. Haha, <laughs> look at that, guys. Four, seven, 
420 with the win. Congratulations, my friend. You got the early bird. Toss that bad boy in here. And uh, I think that's the second time. So congratulations, man. He says, oh, boy. All right, so 47. Uh, 47, I will put it with your other item, your uh, grand prize that you have uh, that you won the other day. So, all right, let's keep rolling, guys. Congratulations again. And thank you, everybody, for being here and being a part of the stream. I know it's probably going to confuse people big time. Um, where is, oh, there we go. I don't know why I got things just disappearing on me left and right. <laughs> All right, let's get back into this. Movado Soldado is a good dude. Shane Kennedy, uh, been a, he's been a part of the community for quite a while. Good to have him hanging out, seeing what's going on. Hopefully you guys at home doing your own searches are finding some good stuff as of late. I uh, I got a, actually a, a box of pennies. It's been a long time since we've done a penny search. So the world finny, finny, world famous penny mids will be back in effect in the near future because I got a $25 box staring at me. And uh, yeah, I'm hoping to find some good stuff. You just never know what you're going to get. As you guys know, it's all about numbers and keep going. Uh, congratulations, Rochelle. It's for... <laughs> That's funny. Collective Chris is tired. Well, Collective Chris, brother, I hope you feel better. Uh, Raven... Frank P. just says 94FS801, Ravenhawk. I'm not sure what... Did you have another comment my friend that i missed um frank p all right so here we go dave senior what's going on my friend dave i got your package in the mail and thank you very much i plan on opening your package and uh, wolfie's tonight here in a little bit probably after the first box um, just to, uh, one, see what Wolfie got me. She said there's these uh, Dots candy bars, which means we could do a live uh, taste review. So what I'll do is after the first box, how we take our normal break, I will check and see. Uh, well, I'll come back, wash my hands and everything, and then we will see what those are all about. And then also the gift from uh, Dave Sr., going to open that and see what's up with that as well <clears throat> so again thank you everybody for being here hoping we find some good stuff you know the silver hasn't been too shabby this year guys i mean if you think about it we've been in 22 boxes which means we found an average of one 90 percenter per box 106 40 percenters so that's like four or five per box so the average total is working out pretty nice, even though the uh, last one was not that big. Um, but, you know, you have your ups and downs. Dr. Days, thank you very much, my friend, for everything. I really do appreciate it. Dave Sr., you know what, man? Anytime somebody sends me something out of the goodness of their heart, I've, I appreciate it. All right, so up next is Ty Hitman 2, 4... Six, seven rolls for Mr. Ty. And he gets a silver ounce, of course. And a pull out of the bag. Let's see what we get. Here we go. It's going to be an ounce of copper. Get back to the copper. <laughs> All right. So let's get into the rolls. Scott Teske, how you doing, my friend? Good to see you back, brother. Hope you're having a good day. Matter of fact, I've been... Uh, it's, it was a really cool morning. I uh, got to hang out over uh, Redneck Stacker. Uh, showed some really cool stuff that he's doing for his 2K giveaway, guys. He's at 1,700 people, roughly. And if he gets to 2,000, 
Guys, we found our first find of the night. NIFC 2003 coming straight out of Denver. You can't go wrong there. Robert Worley, what's going on, bro? Good to see you, man. Matter of fact, Robert, thank you again for my cool raven. Ha <laughs> ha. The thing is so cool. All righty. And uh, I really do appreciate it, bro. I did a live stream uh, where I opened it live, my brother. Eric Fullerton, what's going on, bro? How you doing tonight? Hope you're having a good day. Oh, that's a really ugly 97. I thought we had something interesting there, but somebody painted the edge. And uh, you know how people are, unfortunately. We're really hoping we find at least, come on, you know, a magic coin would be awesome so that we could give away one of the Bill Gibson bounty coins or a 1970 Denver to pop up would be just unbelievable. Vincent Porcella, what's going on, my friend? How you doing? All right, next roll up. I don't see anything obvious, but hey, you never, ever know. You might find something good. You know, it's been a while since we found a no FG, um, so keeping our eyes open for that, of course. And uh, we got Peter Bowes and arrows in the house. How you doing, Peter Bowes? Gear Mateo Delane, what's going on, man? Good to see you, Gear. Gear coming all the way from Norway. And guys, I apologize for the shakiness in the scope. We are. Still working on getting a new one, but we are getting one. And a new camera, so there's going to be a face cam and hand cam. It's just taking some time with some stuff. I've had some unexpected bills pop up and just doing some different things. Katie Bailey, how you doing? Jesse, oh my goodness, how you doing tonight? Hope you're having a great evening and staying out of trouble. <laughs> Des Logic, the Peppa cam. And that's another thing. It'd be easier to show Peppa and stuff when I have a cam facing me plus a cam facing my hands. And you guys can see my ugly mug a little bit, you know? I'll probably still have on my sunglasses, but you never know. We'll see how it works out. <laughs> All right, let's see. Uh, 1999. The 90s, guys, they always have great strikes, as we know. We've talked about this quite a few times in the chats. And so far, just the one NIFC in the mix. I really hope we start running into some silver. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, somebody painted the face of the 74 for a second. I was like, oh, that looks interesting. But nope, it's... It is not Silva. Alistair Black in the attack. What's going on, Alistair? How you doing, bro? Welcome back, j Dog. <laughs> Thomas Tone in the mix. Uh, Robert Worley, I opened it, I believe, during a morning stream. Uh, hey, we got another NIFC finally, 2015. From Denver, boom, right there. And, uh, but yeah, it was on a live stream. It was, God, I know a good week and a half, maybe two weeks ago. Alicia Ortiz, what's going on, Alicia? Hope you're having a good evening. Thanks for coming in and good luck. Oh, oh, I really hope that's not a painted edge. I really hope that's not a painted edge right there. But I think it is. Oops. I think it might. Oh, no way. It's a Benji. Ha <laughs> ha. We got silver. 1962, baby. Looks like it's from Denver. Woo. Look at that. Look at that. We need to do a little Suzuki for that one for sure, ladies and gentlemen. Suzuki! Unreal. So that is awesome. And uh, 
Now we want some 40 percenters and some proofs. Woo! <laughs> so yeah, guys, Ty Hitman getting getting the silver in his last roll right as Alicia Ortiz came in. So we're going to have to say Alicia was the rabbit's foot for the evening. Very, very cool. And Katie Bailey says, FTB, let's fill this board. We're hoping. I honestly, for a second, was like, I think this is a painted edge. And nope, it ended up being a Benny. <laughs> Benny and the Jets. <laughs> All righty, check that out, guys. That is too cool. 1962 it's been you know it's been well used but hey it's it's silver uh no worries alistair <clears throat> i need to get this in here for ty and then get myself a quick drink vincent said i picked up a box of nickels half the rolls are 2020 philly the other half are 2021 p oh wow you got 2021s those will go pretty quick um, and the 2020 Phillies might as well, but, you know, people are really, they love getting those, uh, getting their hands on the early stuff. And we had two NIFCs. Want to mark that down. All right, guys, up next is the one and only JV Silver for two, four, six, and seven rolls total. He gets himself an ounce of silver and a pull out of the bag. Let's see what happens. Here we go. He's getting a silver Merc to go with his ounce. All righty. So, boom, right there for the Mr. JV Silver. Keeping those fingers crossed. Hope we find more silver in the rolls. And, guys, anytime we get a 90 percenter, you know it's a good night. And that's a 98, man. And Matt D, I, I'm telling you, as soon as I started really paying attention to these 83s or looking for them, I have not found one I like. Here's a nice-looking toned uh, 76, kind of a copperish tone to it. But, you know, it's been out, out in, in the system. HD flathead in the house. <clears throat> where there's one there's more says alistair black alistair i hope that holds true brother i really do because i love boxes of, that produce a lot of silver versus just one you know steel wheels 99 what's going on my friend hope you're having a good day here's an 83 that doesn't look too bad i'm gonna put that to the side for now to look at for later but I'm definitely, I want to find you a pretty nice one if I can. The 83s, believe it or not, 82 and 83 don't have the best strikes. The max for Relic Raids has been uh, moved up. Guys, oh my goodness, I'm pretty sure that, I'm pretty sure that silver, I could be wrong. Let's see. Oh wow, I'm way wrong. That is some type of interesting edge looking. Oh, well. It's just a 72. Man, I thought it was a 40 percenter for a second. Sometimes you get those 40 percenters that have a really strong edge that has a little bit of a look of copper to them. That had a really strong silver streaked edge and hardly any to it. Uh, no, not a magic coin, Riley. It doesn't have the sound or the... the uh, here, watch. You'd hear it, and it's not a... These are all the same. All clad, unfortunately. If it was a magic coin, we'd be set and happy. Because we'd have been able to get the, uh, the bounty. <laughs> Alrighty. Come on, Silver, where you be... At 83, we'll, we'll take a look later. But, um, man, come on. You know what? It, it's like it teases you. When you get one quick, nice Benji in the box, 
you want a lot more out of it. You know, that's why we do this. It's a lot of fun to find silk. Okay, okay, here we go. Come on. Wow, painted edge. I, I, man, I have not been getting fooled by the painted edge lately, but that is twice with painted edges tonight. That is annoying to say the least because you know how it is when you've seen silver in the box already you assume it's going to be silver quicker and you know me i get really excited for the silver and uh, ag47 recon what's going on my friend jb silver says that's my luck yeah you know brother sometimes sometimes we get lucky and sometimes it takes takes a while to get get a streak going but one way or another it seems to come back in cycles and um you know i'm really looking forward to see who gets the next super find you know because earlier this year we had remember that night we had 70 silver found in two boxes uh just about a month ago so you know, it's it's one of those things. And then Rob Finds Treasure hit a big box. And so did Seeker hit some, some boxes for a little while. You know, and uh, been getting painted edge quarters a lot late. Oh, Eric Moritz. See, now that's messed up. Even with, doing it with quarters is just a new level of, of you know, being a butthead. <laughs> that, is, that is unfortunate, my friend. JV, brother, I'm sorry we didn't get you anything extra, but we will uh, say thank you again for all the support, brother. I appreciate you. Up next is my, my friend CM Silver, the man, the myth, the legend. Here we go. He's going to get a Buffalo Soldiers. Yeah, that's just unreal. Scored a one-ounce gold eagle proof and a one-tenth. Dave, you got lucky, my friend, because I know they sold out. That's a 37. We're actually going to make it two Buffaloes. And the next one will be... We're not going to do the same dates twice. They're full date Buffaloes. This one's a 36. Ah. I always like trying to make sure you get a little bit something extra besides just the silver, you know. Right there, Robert Worley. This thing is really cool. The napped piece of obsidian. It's really sharp. And I'm glad you said something about it because it's sitting right in front of me. I meant to say something earlier when I said thank you for the raven. But I, I keep it on my desk, my friend, right there next to me. So you can tell that I actually appreciate it. All right, so we go two, four, six... Seven rolls for CM. Let's rock it. Dave, <laughs> Bill Gibson calls Dave Gold, Goldfinger. Yep, here we go. I almost got excited, and it's a 76 with a painted edge, guys. I really, you know, I think we should make a bounty. <laughs> Find this painted edge person. But, you know, you know they're never going to come forward because they would make a bunch of people mad <laughs> oh man but yeah guys so we're gonna do uh, a midstream giveaway which will have a magnet in it and a proof nickel then after the midstream i will uh do a really quick opening of two things one from wolfie one from dave senior Ooh, that's a good looking 83 that i almost went past so um I think we found one that's that's the nicest so far right there. It should open the rolls really, really well. You know what it would, but I'm afraid I'd probably cut myself, Robert. You know? <laughs> Alistair pushes over his silver paint can. <laughs> We're going to get you, Alistair. Oh, man, that's funny. Uh, oh, and guys, uh, there are a couple emojis coming. I'm sorry it's lagging, to be 100% honest. This is a very, very high shine. Wow, guys, look at the mint luster on this. 
It's a 2000 Philly, and it is a stunner. Look at the, the mirroring, and you can see the rotating, so it's not a... Uh, Man, that is a nice one. It's not an NIFC, but I'm putting that aside. If if CM doesn't want it, I'm going to keep it. Uh, because that thing is pretty interesting looking. Guys, don't forget tonight, the Hydroconomist over on Twitch. He used to be on YouTube. He's now over on Twitch, but he's a good dude. Let's make sure we give him some luck if you can. And uh, let's see something here. You know, I was talking to probably would upgrade the one in my book. All right, yeah, you can have it if you if you don't want. It, that's why I gave you the option that if you didn't want it, because that thing it looks really really good and matter of fact i'm gonna put it in an extra little baggie so it doesn't get anything during shipping you guys want to see it under the cam sure uh under the scope i see some little like surface stuff guys but but with the naked eye, it looks really nice. Do we cheat them and how? We found one 90% Benji and a couple NIFCs, guys. All right, let's see the back side of it. That's a pretty, looks pretty good. I still remember the night I woke up at 1 a.m., thunderstorm, logged on, Hydro was streaming, and won a Benji and went back to bed. <laughs> yeah, very nice shine to it. Um, you know, and here's the thing. A microscope really over-magnifies what you're looking at coin-wise. So I think, yeah, definitely a good book coin. I think... Uh, you know, we get spoiled with the scopes. But we're going to put that right there. And that's the thing, guys. If I find stuff that's unique, you know, I'm not against giving giving it out. I've, there's been pocket coins and different things we found over time. And uh, love getting finds. All right. Let's see. Come on, Silver. Where are you at? It showed its head once tonight, so we don't have a skunk box. But, you know, guys, I want more silver. Silver in the mix. Uh, let's get it going. Oh, guys, as you guys know, I'm a huge Bears fan. Guess who I think we just acquired for the Chicago Bears in the next coming season, guys. I was absolutely, you know, it's not 100% confirmed but it's pretty close because vegas has changed their odds and everything on the bears ability to get to the super bowl because they're acquiring anybody got a good guess let me know because uh i'm about to spill it silver swanner says dub bears yes sir silver swanner i'm a huge bears fan and uh Guys, yes, Swanner was right. Russell Wilson. Bill Gibson, I thought it was going to be Deshaun Watson, which is another awesome, uh, would be another awesome acquisition. But, you know, you, you got to, <laughs> they're, they're drafting Sil Sister Seeker. That's funny. <laughs> Running down the street with his with his little wig on, uh, and his red lipstick, Papa Giorgio. I'm a Bears fan, but yes, guys, Russell Wilson is probably coming to the Bears. I was watching the Pat McAfee show earlier, and uh, he said, um, "Man, that is a nice looking seventy one, guys." Hey, uh. CM Silver, are you looking for a really nice 71? Look at that. That thing is beautiful. 
<laughs> Catherine Lee says, no comment, signed Buffalo. Papa Giorgio, didn't know they had the Bears. Uh, Bill Gibson, they, they were saying it uh, pretty strong on McAfee's show tonight. If if it's not if it's not Wilson, it's supposed to be Deshaun Watson. One way or another, they're supposed to get finally a good quarterback in Chicago. We'll see what happens though. You know. All right. So CM, do you want that seventy one, my friend? That thing is pretty nice. Most of the seventy ones I see are in poo condition. G Dub in the house. Good to see you, G Dub. Wilson was almost acquired by the Rockies as a hitter. Oh wow! Before he played football, that would be cool. Uh, Shane Kennedy, a lot of seventy one, seventy two, seventy four. Yes. Silver Swanner. You're right. Pretty much the only great quarterback we had was way back when Hallis was still around. David Bucci says, yeah, I can't find a good one. If it's a Philly, um, I think this one's Denver, actually. Let me take a look with the scope. It's a Denver. But for a 71, that's pretty nice. I'm going to put it aside. If somebody wants the 71 really bad, let me know. I don't have a problem giving it out. All right. McMahon was a decent quarterback. He, you know, for a while there, McMahon held some records, um, you know, but uh, unfortunately, he, he was kind of a strange dude. All right, guys. Up next is the one, the only, the madman, Chris. Nah. David Bucci, you want it? All right, man. It's just going to go in snail mail, bro. It's going to go in a regular envelope, and uh, you, you can have it. Still haven't found my son in 87 of either mint for my board's books. Eric Moritz, I can get you an 87 pretty easily, I'm sure. So, David. You're welcome, David. Thanks for being a part of the Raven Nation, brother. And, uh, yeah, this is a really nice 71. I think you'll be happy. All right, guys. So, Chris Nab gets two pulls out of the bag. The first one's Kappa. Second one is... Well, we're not going to give you two copper. We don't do that. Come on. Can we get something different? <laughs> I swear. We're going to do the Buffaloes. Eric Moritz says, we'll talk, brother. Right on, Eric. I, I'm always down for new things and getting to know more people. Jack Gallman, um, it looks like uh, somebody spoke up for it, brother, but if I find another really nice one, you can have it. All right, Chris Nab getting a couple of buffaloes. An ounce of kappa. Let's rock her. All right, so he's going to get 14 rolls, ladies and gentlemen. We have two, four, six. Eight, ten, twelve, fourteen. All right, David Bucci with a two dollar super sticker says, Cool, thank you, brother. We need more nickel mids and penny mid videos from you, Raven says, Papa Giorgio. Papa Giorgio, per your request, brother, I got a box of uh pennies sitting over on the shelf. And uh, we're going to be doing that in the very near future, brother. So thank you for requesting that. Um, there's a good possibility that I do it tomorrow, actually, um, for a video. Probably do it, film it in the morning and release it sometime in the afternoon at the latest. Maybe in the early evening, you know. But one way or another, we got Penny Mids ooh, on their way. 
That's a really nice looking 1990. Again, thank you to David Bucci for the $2 super chat, my friend. That's really cool of you. I appreciate that. Always appreciate the super super chats. The super chat stuff, as you guys know, we've talked about this before. That's what allows us to do the giveaways and stuff that we do. Uh, allows us to be able to get things like the keychains and do giveaways and things like that, you know. So I'm always very, very appreciative and humbled when you guys do that for me. Chris Nab says, don't forget to smash the button blue. Thank you very much, Chris. Guys, Canadian Ryan, my brother, moderator, friend from up north with a $5 Canadian super chat says, keep it up. Thank you, brother. I appreciate you. You know you rock, man. I want to rock with you. <laughs> All righty. Come on. Let's let's do a live Suzuki for luck. Suzuki. <laughs> we want some silver for the man, the myth, the legend, Chris Nab. Golly, the 92. Look at this 92, guys. There's been some stunner halves in this box tonight. Um. The 90s always have great strikes, uh, as we all know. You know, prefer anonymous, says, Ka -ka! what's going on, my friend? How you doing, brother? Good to see you. All righty, let's rock it. So I've been, uh, I've been putting myself out there a little bit on the limb, guys. I've tried to get a couple, like, huge channels to possibly be uh, interviewed, and we'll see what happens, guys. Hey, Kathy's Corner. Kathy, you are the, uh, you're the last person up tonight, Kathy. We're just in the first box. We're getting through. We found one Benji, silver Benji so far, a bunch of other stuff, some stuff. Stunner looking uh, coins here and there. Here's a painted edge. Yep, a 71. That is so annoying, that painted edge. We're going to get you painted edge, people. There was another movie. Oh, I watched a, a movie, Jack Black, and the pick of D Tenacious D, the pick of Destiny. Pretty funny stuff. Steve Howden, what's going on, man? You okay, brother? Kathy's Corner, you're welcome. And thank you, Kathy, for being a part of everything. I do appreciate it. And uh, you'll get three ounces of silver. Yep, you're going to get three ounces of silver and whatever we find in your rolls for uh, your part tonight. Kathy did three tiers. Very cool. On the painted edge. Yes, Steve Howden. You had me worried for a second. Uh, but Jack Black, no relation to Aleister Black. No, sir. Katie Bailey doing the Relic Raid. Hope you guys are liking the new 75,000 limit that was uh, suggested by the one and only Bill Gibson. Matter of fact, Bill Gibson's been the one that's gotten that changed quite a few times. Wow, here's a 1990 Philly that looks really, really nice as well. For its age. It's got some weird little... Once you put it under scope... Wow, look at the 76 even. Bing. Anyways. I noticed with, with my eyes, I don't see the, the same stuff I used to. But I still think that the scopes keep us spoiled, guys. You know? They they make us overlook. Full push m m metals. What's going on, full push? Now, full push, I'm curious... How do you know that you're number 63, my friend? You could have been 64. <laughs> Says, hey, Raven, what's up? All chilling like some silver squeezing villains in the nest. Let's go, Silva. We've only had one bit. We found one Benji tonight so far, my friend. Phone froze. Had to restart. Hey, Rochelle F. Good to see you, Rochelle. And, uh... Kathy, have fun with uh, with your interview with Chief. 
Here's another pretty decent looking 83. I'm going to put that aside for Matt. And then I think I'll be able to, out of what I'm finding tonight, I'll be able to find him a nice one or two to send. If I find, you know, both mint marks, he'll get both mint marks, of course. I doubt we'll find a proof, but you never know. <laughs> you never know. You'll never know. The kind of stuff that we find. You know... I actually, uh, ooh, another decent looking 83. I found a while back, guys, uh, a couple years now, actually, in a box of pennies, a 10 centavo silver coin from 1942. I literally, to this day, still cannot believe that there was silver in a penny box. But uh, it was pretty much the exact si same size as a penny. So, you know, silver and it got through the thing. Hey, guys, I'm curious. Do you want background music on the stream? I mean, you know, something that's playing kind of uh, maybe a little bit. I don't know, not really elevate. I want to find some music that's like kind of decent, you know, because you have to do. Uh, I'll take that 5th, 64th light. <laughs> um what was I saying? Yeah, uh, some uh, some cannibal corpse. Now, I think that would throw people off. Eric Moritz, Steve Howard, and... Uh, okay, cool. I was just curious if people were wanting, like, you know, background noise, but... Alistair says the music would distract. I, I think you... All right, cool. I appreciate the input. Rochelle F., my own soundtrack. You know what, though? The soundtrack would end up being... Uh, a lot of it taken back down one way or another because of not owning the rights to the songs, unfortunately. But hey, that is life. But thank you for the input, Rochelle. I appreciate it. Um, probably in a couple days, I don't know, maybe maybe a week, give or take, I'm going to do another sing-along. So uh, if you guys want to get your eardrums affected... Come and hang out. 47 says I'm either way, neither here nor there. I gotcha. It's like, you know, you could like music, but then it might be too distracting. Sometimes they say don't don't change things if they're not broken, right? Wow, look at that. It's a 1972 Denver. It's in decent condition. I find a lot of, like, here's another 72, but beat up. 71, 94, 2001, another 72, nice looking 96. You know, guys, that silver is driving me nuts. Where is it? Robert Worley says infected. Would be harder to hear what I'm saying. I'd have to be super loud. Speak up. Ah! <laughs> Chris Nab, brother. Man, I wish we got you some silver, my bro. And you're very welcome. Did somebody say? Did I did Uh, full push. Vicky C is normally just here for the auctions, my friend. All right, guys. Up next is his and her coins with two, four, six, seven rolls. And this one goes over to the side for HD Flathead. HD was part of this morning's stream uh, crowd, and he won two rolls plus... Some stickers and everything. So really, really cool. His and her coins, thank you very much for being a part of this. Some great cuds to be found on those bicentennials and bicentennials and greasers. Ah, yeah. A foot, ten and a half hours on the road. All right, we got an ounce of copper from my friend here. We got the buffalo, buffalo, buffalo. His and hers, thank you. Catfish, are you? 
Catfish, I'm going to have Miss Raven take a look at everything because I don't see you on the list. And that's weird, my friend, because I would never purposely miss you. Um, let me have her research it. If worse comes to worse, Catfish, I can put you into the next one or I can give you a refund. I feel really bad, my friend. Um, I'm not sure how that would have gotten missed, but, uh, Steve Howden, what's the one that is painted? This is a Ravenhawk keychain, my brother. Yep, it's just a keychain, and I had it under the scope to have something to look at. Kind of cool. <laughs> All right, come on, let's get some silver. Catfish Arg donated Sunday. I oversold. Um, hold on, man. That's really surprising me because we've also been putting that stuff on the the spreadsheet and uh so he how did he not get on the list all right um catfish brother i apologize my friend um Um, all right, so you know what I'll do, Catfish? I have Kathy's Corner down for three spots. Kathy's pretty uh, flexible on stuff. Thank you, David Donovan. I appreciate it. And what we'll do is we'll put you into the to this next box here, uh, and you'll get one of one of Kathy's uh, $50 spots and I'll either refund her or whatnot. Well, do we cheat him? Are you sure? Oh, just push for Sunday. No worries. Catfish brother. Thank you so much, man. And my most sincere apologies. I really, I really, really feel bad because you were one of the people, you know, you're here and consistently and you've been, a donator for a while uh, so I do appreciate you being flexible and understanding and we will make sure that you are in on the Sunday stream for sure alrighty you rock catfish that is for sure says Chris Nab Whew. I mean I feel horrible guys I never want to miss people you know that's one of those things that I've talked about time and time again, integrity is the key to being a good YouTube person, you know? If you don't have integrity in your word, you have nothing at all. Um, and, you know, it, it takes only a second to ruin that. So, I appreciate you understanding, man. It means a lot. All right, come on, Silver. Let's get something in the last of the rolls here. But we got three rolls left. Then we'll take our quick break. I'll come back. What up, Silver Seeker in the house? What up, Seeker? So here, these are two super obvious painted edges. And this is really frustrating. But, you know, it's part of the gig, guys. Uh, let's see here. A 72 and a 73 with the painted edges. 47 says, that's the truth. Richard Sappington says, mind if I take a seat? Good to see you, man. And good to see Silver Seeker in the house. Uh, I was over at Rob Finds Treasure for a while last night. We had some fun. And uh, Seeker's on his mobile phone, so he can't really tag people, but he's saying hello. Which I understand that. That happens to me all the time when I'm on Ida's. Catman Dualism. I don't know. Prop maybe. 
Um, I don't remember everybody that what they win. Um, if you won something, yeah. Sometimes it takes a little bit longer for the giveaways to get there versus the donations. It just depends on what's going on for the mail. Hey, Silver Craze Mama says, hey, Seeker. Yeah, he donated a 50 spot, uh, Sergeant Stacker. And uh, if you put that on the spreadsheet for me, that'd be awesome. I appreciate you, man. All right, guys, last roll of this box, and then we're going to take our break. Then we'll come back. We'll open up the Wolfie Olin package and the second box and also a package from Dave Sr., guys. I'm dropping stuff everywhere. Good to see Silver Craze Mama. Silver Banky in the house. What's going on, Silver Banky? Hope you're having a good night. So, Seeker, we found a Benji so far. Hey, um... Seeker, who's the guest for Monday on Rob's? Do you know yet? Yeah, I was hanging out in Rob's. It was we had some fun. All right, guys, his and hers coins. I'm sorry we didn't find any extra, my friend. Eric Fullerton with a five dollar super chest says, "Woohoo! Thanks for my package and the dots." Thank you, my brother, for the $5 super chat. And I'm glad you like the dots, bro. That means a lot. All right, guys. So the midstream giveaway, we're going to give away a really cool proof nickel from 1961. The number 32 Ravenhawk coins magnet and a couple Ravenhawk stickers. Plus, I'm going to throw in a Merc, guys. We're going to put a little silver in the mix. David Bucci, we just got dots around here. Nice. I love dots, man. They're, they're great. All right, so we're going to do the quick midstream giveaway, and I'm going to take the, the normal break that I do. i got to use the restroom. It's killing me tonight. <laughs> Hope that's not TMI for everybody. So let me reset everything here. And this is the midstream. And that is open right now. Good luck to everybody. We will turn on the bot. And Seeker, I had this crazy uh, thing happen last night, my friend. Or not like this night. Uh, the thing really made a glitch on the stream. All right, guys. Good luck, everybody. I will be back very, very soon. Ravenhawk Coins, stay tuned.
Hey, Karsten Hunt Silver and Mia's coins are in the house. Too cool. How you guys doing tonight? And uh, good to see you. So, guys, I got a couple packages. This first one is from Wolfie Olin. I am not going to show it on the screen, the package, but I am going to open the contents real quick. We're going to take a look and see what it is. Good to see Karsten here. Oh, by the way, the hands are clean. As you can see, before I left, they were super dirty. There's the other hand. <laughs> Good to see you guys. Alrighty, so Wolfie told me that Dots had some cool stuff. Oh, wow. And it, I think she sent me some... Oh, guys, it is made from Dots, like she said. No way. Look at this. We got white chocolate candy bar milk chocolate and dark chocolate <coughs> that is unreal i am i am really stoked i'm gonna try the milk chocolate out live guys and let you know what it tastes like cz says he found his first 2020 west point quarter nice my friend caribbean coins how you doing and uh wow that is really cool thank you wolfie unreal so these are Dots Pretzels candy bars. And uh, they're 1.75 ounces. Let me get this little bad boy open. And uh, hey, nice looking. They got the Dots little emblem on it. Right there it says Dots Pretzels. I'll probably have to do a food review on the other ones as well. Mmm. This is candy bar with pretzels and toffee. This is good, guys. I like the milk chocolate one. Wow. That is awesome. Thank you, Wolfie. And I'll have to do a review for these ones. But I definitely I had to try it. I'll probably still review the other chocolate as well with it, but mmm. Man, that is good. All right. And then we got something in here. Let's see what it is. From the one and only Wolfie Olin. Oh, really cool. We got a one ounce 1964 replica Kennedy. One ounce Kappa. Thank you, Wolfie. I really appreciate that, Wolfie. That means a lot. And I really... Am stoked and honestly, this chocolate's good. I'm eating the next one. Mmm, I can't help myself, guys. Let me see where we are on the giveaway. It is time to pick the winner. Three, two, one. The norms. Four, four, two, ladies and gentlemen. Is our midstream winner. Mm. Those are really, really good. You're welcome, Norms. Alrighty, guys. So we got one more package to open real quick. And I, I appreciate everybody being patient. Um, but I knew that both these people were going to be on. So I wanted to make sure to do this. And... Uh, yeah, let me get this next one open. And this is from Dave Sr. <laughs> now I get the joke. That's awesome. <laughs> Look at this, guys. We got we got the other dots. <laughs> That is too cool, man. Plus, a 2008 Arizona Cud Air on the reverse with another quarter in here as well. Looks like a proof, actually. Thank you very much, Dave. Says, a little something to snack on and a couple silly giveaways. Take care and Boomer Sooner, Dave Sr. Thanks, Dave. 
All right, guys. So, whoever won tonight, um, let's see. You know what? We're going to add a box of these dots to the end of stream. These other dots, I'm going to open one up and eat for myself because I forgot about these and I like these as well. And then we'll give away these other three. So this is going to the end of stream from Dave Sr. Dave, that is too cool, man. Thank you very, very much for the candy, bro. And uh, I didn't know they still made them either. These feel really fresh too. So, uh, yeah, we're going to add that to the end of stream. And... Um, and the other three dots, the next stream will give away the next the next three packages as well. And now I have to open one of these. Now, here's the thing. The danger with these dots is they'll pull out a filling if you're not careful. And Dave said those are his favorite dots. Well, Dave, I think if you tried the pretzels, you'd be surprised at uh, how good they really are. But I always liked these. You don't see them very often in... Uh, in stores and they are made by Tootsie Roll for those of you that didn't know all right so we got that open almost now let's see here we have the easy pour if we do this correctly and of course I mess it up every time there we go oh yeah Eric Marich, you've never seen Dots Pretzels? Oh, man. Hold on a second. Ow. I just smacked my head. And Dave Sr., man, these are great. Oh, let me refresh it. I'm sorry about that. Mmm. These are nice and fresh. They're not look at look at how good these ones are, guys. Sometimes dots you get them and they're super hard. These are these are good. Very good. <laughs> See silver craze? Yeah, if you get them and they're the wrong ones. Oh. And these are the dots pretzels. I guess they can use the name Dots because they have the apostrophe. All right, let's get into the next one, guys. Up first is Sergeant Stacker. He got a $50 spot. He gets an ounce of silver and a pull. Getting himself a keychain. Nice. I don't know why I took that one. All right, there's a keychain. And now, let's get into the rolls. And excuse me, I got food caught in my, the little pieces of dots caught in my teeth. <laughs> Silver Crazy Mama says, now I need to find me a snack. Rockzilla was like, I saw it still going. <laughs> Sorry, Rockzilla. All right, so here we go. Two, four. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's silver, but I could be wrong. Two, four, five, seven. All right, here we go. We're keeping the fingers crossed for the one and only Sergeant Stacker. Ooh, candy raisin. I love uh, the the chocolate one. Raisinets. Man, when you get fresh raisinets, they are so good. No, it is a 74 on that one. Okay, hold on. I don't know now. I thought we had a silver ender. Uh, it's a 71. Darn it. And you can tell no no good ching to it. You know that sound of silver is so distinctive. What do you do? 
yogurt covered ones are pretty good too, but I am I really dig when I'm watching a movie, I can go through a full box of raisinets like it's nothing. Love raisinets. Um and I'm not the biggest chocolate fan, which is kind of funny, you know. And I don't eat a lot of raisins, but for some reason that combination together is pretty good. Man, somebody scratched this 71 up really bad. All right, Bicentennials, come on. Hey, we got a find. We got an NISC 2006 coming out of Philly. Dump them in your popcorn. Oh, some Raisinets. And yeah, I've eaten handfuls of Raisinets with popcorn. But you know what? My kids really love fresh popcorn. And I have a, well, one of them does. I, uh. I love making fresh popcorn. That'd be good. Throw them on there while they're still hot. And they'd melt into there. Mm -mm -mm. Dorothy's. Her name apostrophe makes it possessive. Yep. That's why she's able to do it. It's not the exact same name. Even though it's two different dots. <laughs> but that candy bar was epic. Uh, Wolfie. I really like the chocolate one. And we'll see what the dark chocolate and the uh, the white chocolate is like. I'll do a little uh, little extra, one more food review for old Dottie. Alrighty. And I'm telling you guys, I cannot wait until I get this scope fixed, and it's no longer on a mic boom. We're trying a new. We're, uh, darker milk raisin uh, Rockzilla I like the milk raisinets Milk chocolate I like a lot more Do you have a Target by you? The one by me makes popcorn and sells it in bags Just like movie popcorn uh, Yeah we do have one close Do they say, uh, do they do popcorn at the, the Target by our house? Oh really? Oh I did not. Well, I don't get to go anywhere, so. Well, you want fresh popcorn? Well, we got it. We have our popcorn maker. We're good. Yours be. <laughs> Mine be. Thank you. Anybody else in uh, my I uh, I I am very meticulous when I make popcorn. I'm, I'm kind of weird about it, guys. Uh, while the popper's going, I make sure that I have my melted butter. Hey, we got another NIFC that makes for number four tonight. Coming out of 2005, the great state of Denver, producing that coin. It's Suzy Q96. Oh, Suzy Q. Oh, Suzy Q. Oh, Suzy Q, baby, I love you. Suzy Q. I like the way you walk. I like the way you talk. <laughs> I like the way you walk and like the way you talk. The Suzy Q. I love that song, actually. That's a great song. Man, look at this. A uh, CM Silver. Were you looking for a 2000 Philly, brother? Because this is a great looking 2000 Philly. If Sergeant Stacker doesn't want it, then I'll send it to CM Silver. Just stopped in to see what condition my condition was in. That is, uh, wasn't that Kenny Rogers before he started doing country? Or like right when he first started doing country? I don't know. But that is a, a really nice 2000. I think he said he was looking for a 2000 filler, a Philly. But I'm not sure. Because I was going by conversation earlier tonight. Alright, we got a 2006 NIFC. That's number Cinco. Bill Gibson says first edition. I'm dropping stuff like a rock. <laughs> Oh, my friends, guys. You guys are awesome. Holy smokes. 84 likes already. You guys are unbelievable. Thank you for all the love. 
it really does mean a lot to me when I get the likes. It helps the channel quite a bit. Mr. Marmelo, my brother down from New Zealand. Good to see you, bro. Hope you're having a great day. And uh, I'll put that 2000 right there until I hear something from CM if he says no or not. John Fogarty Premonition Concert on YouTube. Lots of good music and a crazy drummer. Nice, Dewey. Hey, Mick Hammer Plus Art. How you doing, bro? Welcome to the show. We got a fellow Oklahoman in the house. Good to see you, brother. Good to see you. All right, guys. Up next is R R R Rockzilla. Boom. Larry Powell, you rock, brother. Good to see you, my friend, as always. Larry, uh, Rockzilla's getting a couple of the Buffalo Soldiers. Dreadlock Rasta. <laughs> All righty. I'm going to give you a 36 and a 35 for your Buffaloes. Plus, we get seven rolls and an ounce of silver. <clears throat> Two, four, six, number seven. Here we go. <laughs> Dreadlock pasta. <laughs> That's funny. He was the, uh, what would you say, the... Oh, man, how do you get the first part of that, though? He killed a buffalo, yo. yo. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, man, what do you do? <clears throat> Mia's, Mia, it's uh, Relics. I think you just did a typo on accident. Uh, Mia, if you need relics, let me know. Doesn't need the 2000 and you don't either. Okay, cool. No worries. Thank you, Sergeant Stacker. I appreciate that. I wish I could see every... I miss people's comments quite a bit in chat, and I don't do it on purpose. I've actually had people tell me, you don't, you don't want to talk to me because you ignored everything I said. I said, I honestly didn't see it. You know, I don't have a reason to ignore people, you know, um, and I got nothing to hide. What up, Mustang Dave? Mustang Dave, another Normanite in the house. Good to have Mustang Dave here. All right. Buffalo meatballs. You know, guys, I, buffalo is really good. I've had buff, bison burgers and buffalo and... Ostrich is another really good meat if you've never had it. Catman do, I'm trying, bro. We have one ninety percenter on the night, you know. Top chat will kill you. If you have top chat on instead of live chat, you do not see a per a big percentage of what's going on. Budget Bullion says there's seventy two of us in here. Nice. That's not a bad crowd budget. We've had some uh, crowds uh, close to 200 before, you know. Just depends on what's going on and and whatnot. But uh, speaking of cool crowds on Monday, ooh, Gator on a stick. That sounds yummy. I like Gator. Um, on Monday, going to be on Rob Finds Treasures channel for the one-hour Q&A that we do with myself, Rob, and Seeker. Going to be a lot of fun, guys. And in the very new near future, we're going to have a big, big announcement from the three channels. We're working on something, and uh, I think you guys as a whole, the community, is really going to like what's going on. Um, and I'm super excited for what the future holds, guys. Like, seriously... I think it's going to be pretty cool. <clears throat> All righty. Again, nothing obvious in the roll. I don't think we're going to pull any silver out of this one. But what do you do? What do you do? You know, that Benji, I still am shocked. You know, it's amazing how things get through the system, you know? Yep. We the cool crowd, says j Dog. <laughs> CM says, Benji again. I hope we get some more Benjis. 
Full push, bro. You guys rock. Redneck Metals, the whole crew over there, a bunch of nice guys that do some good stuff. Um, you know. And it's just going to keep getting better. Matter of fact, I even have projects in the future with uh, Red and Ida and whatnot in the mix, guys. So there's there's a lot on my plate. And eventually you guys will get to see it all. And I really can't wait until we announce what's going on with, with Seeker and, and Rob. Uh, I know Seeker said something the other night when I was on his stream, a little bit of something. But, you know, we've all guaranteed we can't let the cat out of the bag. 24-hour CRH. No, no, no. <laughs> that would be something that'd be cool down the road, Dewey. You know, maybe uh, if we could all three get together. But right now, I cannot leave my house, bro. I am quarantined, um, unfortunately. You know? All right, Rockzilla. We got you the NIFC, brother. Thank you very, very much for always being a part of the show. All right, Dewey Cheatham. Nope. Up next, with seven rolls, we got two, four, six, and the seventh roll for Dewey. Here we go. Here we go, yo. Here we go, yo. All right. Hey, he's getting the keychain, ladies and gentlemen. So he got the second keychain, and that was under the scope. So there we go for Dewey, Cheatham, and Howe. And now, let's see what we get next. Mia, by the way, Mia, I really appreciate that you sent me that panda sticker. It's on the backgrounds of my videos. Somehow it fell down on the last one. And matter of fact, guys, probably my next, if not my next video, the video after that, I'm going to rearrange the background again. Uh, Shane Kennedy, we found a 1962 Benji. Benjamin Franklin half. Uh, but Mia, yeah, I really like that thing. Full push medals? That would be fun to go gold panning. I've never been able to go do it. But panning gold would be great. 85 for the future. Been having some margaritas this weekend. So I've not been in the channel getting better just in time. With the New Zealand 755 New Zealand cash. Thank you very, very much, my friend. I do appreciate you, Mr. Marmelo. Uh, if I could take the shot and know for sure I'd be okay, I would. But unfortunately, they can't guarantee it for me. My doctor does not feel it's safe uh, for me. Now, if I didn't have the issues with my immune system, I'd be good to go. Hey, you know what? You got to try this. This is the Dots pretzel chocolate. Come here. Yeah. Wolfie, I'm having Miss Raven try the chocolate so you can hear her reaction. She's ripping the package open like a wild ra ravenous wolverine. She's chewing. Bye. She ran away with my chocolate, guys. <laughs> hey. <laughs> you got to be kidding. She ran away with my chocolate. Come back with my dots, lady. No, you can have it. You, I had two pieces. Make. Uh, yeah, there's a dark chocolate and a white chocolate. I'm going to do a little food review. Hey, Michelle Eberbrola, good to see you. Yeah, she is out of here. She's a chocolate fanatic. Those are good, huh? Oh, oh wow. Little one's going to go nuts if you give her a piece of that because she already loves loves the dots. <laughs> Chris Nav said, always good to hear you, Miss Raven. And uh, Wolfie said, sharing is good for me. I don't want to share. <laughs> oh, man, that's too funny. But she did, guys. You should see her face light up for the chocolate. She goes, wait, Dots makes a chocolate bar? Oh, you got to be kidding me. All righty, next roll. Coin Club going to have to run. We have a show next weekend. Can't miss tonight. Has been fun. Eric Moritz, that's awesome, bro. Michelle Iberola, where are you going? 
Drew V in the place to be. Severely fouled up immune system, multiple immu autoimmune disorders. My doctor said no until the new shot from Johnson & Johnson came out. So far, I'm having no issues. Well, see, the one for Johnson & Johnson, for me, is the one they're saying I can't take. Michelle, thank you for being here. I hope you have a good night. I'm, it's always good to have you stopping in. You kick butt. I hope we get some silver in the next roll, Eric. <laughs> You know, um, always when you find silver, it makes for such a great night. But I honestly, no matter what, I have fun with you guys. You know, you get to joke around. And you guys honestly keep me sane. Um, it, you know, I'm not allowed to leave the house. I know I'm repetitive about that. But um, since I can't go anywhere, I don't really see anybody except, you know... And I'm lucky that I have my kids and, and Miss Raven, of course, because, you know, I get to interact with people. But when you stay in so long, indoors so long like I am, it's just crazy. Uh, I have not seen the candy bars here yet, Wolfie, but I know now she'll be looking for them. We'll probably have a supply of Dots candy bars in the next week from uh, for her looking. Eric, you have a good night, brothers. Good to see you, man. And I hope you get to make it back for ooh, a really nice 82. Hey, Matt D, do you need an 82? That's a nice looking coin. I'm gonna put that on the on the stop there. And Drew V, let me get you some uh some extra relics, my friend. Give me just a second here. Uh finish this for Dewey Cheatham. And how? And I'm crazy. Wolfie found him at a convenience store. That makes sense, actually. All right. Um, oh, yeah. Matt, I was going to give uh, Drew some, some relics here. All right, Drew. There you go, brother. Hope you like it. That'll uh, give you a chance to play some games. All right, guys. Up next is Budget Bullion. Budget's got a $50 spot. He gets a pull out of the bag as well as one ounce of silver. He's going to get an ounce of copper to go with his ounce of silver. And there we go. And up two. Ah, we got an NIFC ender right there. Four. Six. And number seven, the Siete. Drew V, you're welcome, my friend. You're welcome. And, uh... Hey, there is the NIFC Ender right there, 2003. Budget Coin Hunter, what's going on, my brother? Good to see Karsten here. Karsten is all the way in Germany, guys. Or actually, right now, I think he's in Thailand on vacation or what? Or not big, working in Thailand. Anna, I'm crazy, says she's doing good. Nice, Anna. Always good to see you. Full push metal says, let's go silver. No doubt, full push. Larry Powell, the second in the house. Good to see Larry here. Guys, we got 97 likes on the night. Unreal. You guys are too kind. I do appreciate you and all the love. That does mean a lot to me. I'm telling you. It makes a big difference. And hopefully one day it'll get uh, YouTube to push the channel a little bit more. <laughs> what I really would love, guys, I want to get to... Uh, I want to be a little bit bigger. I don't want to be huge, but, but I definitely want to be a little bit bigger. And we just got a, uh, a notification. We got a $2 super chat from Canadian Ryan. Oh, no. Don't tell me it's doing what it did earlier. Okay, guys. Guess what? Um, 
I'm telling you, it happened to me earlier. Then all of a sudden I started getting... Can you guys hear the notification bell going? <laughs> Pat yourself on the back like you, you like pushers. <laughs> Sit back and enjoy the flight. Another 83 to look at. Mr. Marmello says, I felt it, bro, but hope she wipes them candies down before handing them to you. I also love relics. <laughs> Mr. Marmello, I'll throw you some. 359 a bar for dots. Holy cow. Holy cow. Okay. So let's go like this. Guys, can you guys hear that dinging noise? You don't hear it. Okay. Ah, uh, see, Sergeant Stacker says, yes, this time I heard the bell. Well, I think that happened because Mr. Marmello sent in an actual $5 super chat. And the other ones, there's some kind of glitch going on. That is unreal. It happened earlier, and that's why I restarted the stream. Um, let me see if I can find a way to get rid of the noise. Well, I still keep hearing it. Do you guys hear it still? Oh, man. I don't know what that what's doing that. Oh well, you know what? We don't have a bunch of stream left to go. We'll just have to get through it this way and see what it is. Yeah, wouldn't that be nice to get those credits? But here's the thing, it's not showing up on uh on the thing. You know what? And guys, thank you for the love and the super chats. We're going to add a little something to the end of stream for that. How about a silver quarter? Going to the end of stream along with a box of dots. And we're going to add a 90% 1964 Kennedy half. So you get a quarter, a half, a nickel. And you know what? We might as well just finish it up with the love and give you a Mercury dime. So you're getting a 90% Merc, a 90% quarter, a 90% halves. Just to say thank you for the love. Don't turn it off. It's exciting, says Mr. Marmello. We're just going to let it roll, guys. You know, and thank you, Mr. Marmello, for the extra super chat. You know what will be funny? Somebody will come back and be like, wow, I heard a lot. You know what's strange? On my screen, I keep seeing everybody's name. You know? Larry Powell, I would try dots, but I'm not eating sweets and trying to do 8-ounce container every two hours. Hoping to get some weight off and be able to walk so I can do some metal detecting. Hey, I respect you, brother uh, Larry. Get that weight off, my friend. And, uh, you know, eat responsibly. The silver gavel. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, a four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero is not. That's a ladder, my friend. That that is a very good ladder, Drew V. Ida Herring. Jesse says I sent a PayPal, but I don't have any idea if it worked. Uh, Jesse, hold on a second here. I can tell you. Give me just a second. Yes, Jesse, you sent a five dollar PayPal. If that if that was you, thank you very much, Jesse. <laughs> Let's try to beat the glitch, says Karsten Hunt Silver, with a five point four nine. It's a euros or pounds or whatever. I'm bad with that. Guys, this Saturday coming up is the Ida Herring Cancer Quilt Extravaganza. Make sure to get a hold of her because it's going to be a lot of fun. You know, they're doing the sticker box and the cancer quilt and whatnot. And we are just getting rung up with the Super Chat Bell, guys. It's literally, 
I'm starting to actually kind of get used to it. It's just like, bling. <laughs> there it goes again. Matt D, I have found it. I think I found your perfect 83, bud. I think I found it finally. Look at this one. There's a good looking 83. I'm going to put that to the side. But you definitely have to check it out, guys. Budget Coin Hunter says, ow. But yeah, um, Ida Herring rocks. Hey, we got an NIFC 2006. So that's number seven, number eight, actually. And uh, Budget Bullion. At least you're getting a little something. Kathy's Corner says she's back. What's up, Kathy's Corner? Hey, we got another NIFC 2002. That makes for number nine. Kathy's Corner, you're just in time because you're actually up next, my friend. And definitely, if you do not know who Ida is, she does the She Shop studio monday through friday so check her out i'm normally there there's a lot of people in here that are there bill gibson myself uh red of course ida kk's there there's a lot of people you know uh jesse o Brittany lagunas um there's just a lot of different people uh miss southern bell the whole nine. Alrighty. You know, it is kind of cool to hear that ding because it does make you think you're getting something special. Here we go, guys. Kathy's Corner gets 21 rolls. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Wait, two, four. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen. 16, 18, 21 rolls, ladies and gentlemen, for Kathy. The last roll here goes to HD Flathead. Kathy's Corner gets three ounces of silver here. One, two, and three. She also won a uh, keychain and stuff earlier tonight. So very er, earlier this morning. I don't know why I said tonight. All right, let's see. What is her first pull? It is copper. Second pull. We're not going to do you double copper. Huh. Okay, this is weird. Silver dime. And a silver dime. All right. Throw that over there. Got copper. Couple merch. To go with her silver. And now, let's hit it. David Donovan has cataract surgery. The light's blurring his eyes. Dave, man, I hope you feel better. Deslogic says, I heard Peppa was donated to the end of stream this evening. I am trying to win, Peppa. All right, guys. So the end of stream is going to be pretty cool. You can get yourself a Ravenhawk Coins uh, keychain. And a box of dots that are really fresh, which I'm super happy about, you know. But yeah, David Donovan, if you've been doing stuff, you should definitely be resting your eyes, man. I am honored that you came here and hung out during that, during your recovery. That means a lot. It really, really does. And I'm going to have to talk to somebody about fixing that, that bell going off. I think... I think it needs the program to be updated because some kind of weird glitch. But it's starting to drive me nuts. <laughs> All right. So look at that, guys. Mr. Marmello adding to Ida Herring's cancer quilt auction that is very cool mr marmello all the way from across the globe down under in the world of new zealand helping out with the susan g Komen foundation and if you i've never uh i've never 
I don't know a single person that hasn't somehow been affected by cancer with the loss of a friend or they know that somebody that's a survivor. Unfortunately, cancer is very prominent in our society, you know, with the way that we eat really bad and we we live kind of hard lives, you know. Um, but yeah, very awesome of Mr. Marmello to hook stuff up. For the cancer auction. Guys, I'm finding some nice 83s. I think Matt D is going to be a happy camper when he sees what I send him finally. Um, but yeah. Miss Ida Herring. Karsten. Wow. Karsten, I am very sorry for your loss, my friend. Carson Hunt Silver said he lost his father three years ago to cancer, guys. And uh, that is that is not good. I think I'm missing something. Riley, hope you feel better, man. I, you know, I've been I was sick. Yeah, we were sick recently, and I've still been dealing with the, the tail end of it and sinus issues. And the doc, you know, we got tested, no COVID. But, you know, you never know. You know, the, the, the one of the biggest killers is actually the common cold, guys. You know, a lot of people died just from getting a, what they call the common cold. Um, but I think nowadays, you know, these common colds get a nomenclature or name put them on them a lot quicker than they used to, you know. And COVID scares the bejesus out of me. <laughs> <clears throat> nice. Fought against leukemia at the age of six and kicked its butt. Nice, Riley. That's the stuff I love to hear. And look at that, guys. Ida's been a survivor 15 years and her mom for 53 years. And yeah, guys, like I was saying earlier, we got some cool stuff in the future. I plan on doing some things with Miss Ida and uh, Redneck Stacker and stuff. We're going to have a lot of fun in the future with that stuff. Guys, 2002 NIFC in the mix. So that is number 10 on the night for Kathy getting an NIFC. Hoping we find some Silva. But yeah, man. Um, hey, W Ranch, got your package with the arrowhead and the dots. Already finished the dots. <laughs> Arrow, uh, AW, I got to try Dots Candy Bar tonight. It was really, really good. I actually have two more left that I'm a, I'm gonna try out in a live uh, preview, like I did the, uh, the pretzels. And I'll have to say a disclaimer that I did have the milk chocolate, but the family got to it. Miss Raven ran off like a little banshee. <laughs> She's like, she just guys. I wish I had it on video. She just seen her eyes and the way she just scampered off with my chocolate. I'm like, no, get back here. <laughs> oh yeah, man. They uh but Des Logic said they're like four dollars a chocolate bar. So Wolfie Olin, man, you went above and beyond to get me the dots candy bars. AW Ranch, those pretzels are ridiculous, huh? The addiction level is is real. Hey, Mark B, man, good to see you. I sent him a bag of the Southwest flavor, and they were mind-blowing good. Nice. Yeah, Mark B, to me, I think the Southwest ones taste a lot like a Chile Verde, you know? Which I love Chile Verde. Chile Verde is good stuff. You get it made right, mm, Chile Verdes with some warm tortillas, ah. Nothing like a hot tortilla, you know. Might have to make homemade chocolate-covered raisins. Nice, Papa Giorgio. Nothing wrong with some homemade raisinets. Yeah, 
Riley says, I've wanted some ever since you started talking. Best part is grandparents had some when I was there yesterday. Nice. Guys, Karsten Hunt Silver with a 5.49 super chat chocolate fun for Miss Raven. Thank you, Karsten. You rock, brother. Hey, and the dinging stopped. <laughs> Oh, man. Thank you again, Karsten. That is awesome, dude. Too cool. All righty. Maybe, maybe it finally confused the system. It's like, wait, wait. He's getting modern ones. Or maybe it needed to catch up. I don't know. It's kind of weird. My wife just overheard you say how now you're going to buy more stuff, so he'll send you a Dots chocolate bar. <laughs> There you go, A.W. Ranch. I will make sure. Oh, you can buy the Dots Burs bars online for $250. Not bad. Not bad. But Rockzilla said he saw them. You know, you know how it is. Some places, they charge you more, you know. Guys, is my camera fuzzy? I think the little one touched the camera lens. I'm going to have to clean it. We got that, like, almost hazy look, you know. Homemade peanut butter squares. It tastes. Oh, I like Reese's peanut butter squares. Those are good. Mr. Marmello says get lint chocolate, their VIP level chocolate, with the 2.55 New Zealand love. Thank you, my friend. Holy cow, guys. You guys have hooked up the. Uh... Oh, we got an NIFC with the ring of death, so I'll replace that with a better one. You guys have hooked up the chocolate love on the Super Chats tonight. Thank you very, very much. 105 likes from you, and we got 82 people hanging out. I cannot thank you guys more for doing this with me. You know, even the people that don't really say anything in chat, it really does mean a lot that you're here hanging out and seeing what's going on, you know. Uh, Matt D, sorry, catching up. Thank you again for taking the time and effort and finding the nice 83 for me. Hey, Matt D, no problem. Look at this, Matt. I got a stack of 83s right now. I'll pull out the best. A couple of them have really great edges that you can see, so you're, I think you're going to be happy, my friend. I don't mind doing stuff for you. You've done a lot for me. You know, you uh, you've made those keychains more than once. Uh, Matt D has sent in multiple keychain packages and he made me the most awesome necklace and I can't believe it actually fits, you know? Edward Hayda says, new at collecting, went through boxes of dimes, quarters, half dollars, and dollars. Only one silver, a dime, but had a lot of fun. Hey man, uh, Wolfie Olin, I have not, did I hoard the rest of the bars? Yes, until I try them. <laughs> And Chris Nav says, we thank you for doing this with us. Well, thanks, Chris. Um, Eric MC, what's up, Eric? But yeah, guys, it, it really does. Um, you know, I look forward to the streams, hanging out with you guys, being able to talk and BS about what's going on in the world here and there. You know, and uh, without you guys, I'd probably be going a little bit more more goofy, you know. Can we please change the subject? I used I used to love chocolate peanut butter cup. You know what, Larry? I feel your pain, my friend. I've uh, I've had to diet before. Dieting is not an easy task. But you know what, Larry? Larry, what's your goal? I'm curious. Well, thank you, Riley, for the kind words, brother. That really is awesome of you, my friend. Uh, Des Logic, you're supposed to. I really don't know what's, what the boss battle does, guys. That's one of those games that's always kind of been a, a mystery as to where what happens and what, what it does. And, uh, Man, I thought we were going to get some more so Holy cow, we got an old coin from before from me. Hey, uh, so Larry Powell, I am curious what what your uh, goal is, my friend. K 
Kathy said she lost 15 pounds without dieting. I've I've gotten sick and lost 20 pounds easy. My goal is to find someone to sell silver for less than a six to eight dollar premium. <laughs> yeah, good luck, right? Uh, Des Logic, I'll have to research it some more. Maybe, maybe there's something wrong. You know. Wow, started at 462, want to get below 200. Larry Powell, if you get below 200 pounds, bro, I'll make something, I'll make it worth your while in a way. I'm not a rich man by any means, but if you make it to the 200 pound mark, I will make sure to give you something nice. Huh? Yep, Miss Raven says we'll send you something. So you even got confirmation from Miss Raven that, that we'll make sure that, that you get something for reaching your goal, my friend, because losing 260 plus pounds, you're, you're basically losing me and about a third of my wife, <laughs> you know? So uh, I, I commend you, brother, and I really, really hope you reach your goal. And like I said, you reach your goal, we'll hook you up. Hey, look at that, guys. Silver Banky said, count me in on this as well, Raven. I'm on board with that. Very cool. Well, I appreciate you. Daniel D'Ambrosia says, we're all rooting for you. Something that starts with an M. Oh, wow. Something that starts with an M, which is really, really nice. Michael Kittle, Rare Coins, says, Keep it up, Larry Powell the second. Mark B says, Count me in as well. Okay, guys, tell you what. Anybody that wants to be in on this, and look at that, guys. Marmello, Mr. Marmello says, I can send in a half dollar two with a five dollar or five New Zealander. And, uh, yeah. So anybody that wants to be in on the Larry Powell weight loss goal, email me and Miss Raven with the title Larry Powell. We'll put it in a binder and then um, so that we have your name. And then you guys can send it to me if you want. And we'll do a big giveaway when it happens. But uh, we will we will do something really cool that way. Good to see Mr. Michael Kittle in the mix. Thanks for coming in, my friend. And guys, it really means a lot to see all the support and all of you guys saying the good stuff to Larry. Sergeant Stacker, thank you. Riley says, I'm heading to a coin store soon. Maybe pick something up for him as well. Yep, guys. AG says, pulling for you, Larry Powell. You will get there, brother. And we do. We we want you to do well, Larry. You're a nice, positive dude. And uh, order to set a scales once I get here. I plan to do weight updates once a month. All right, Larry. We're going to do this, man. It is the Larry Losing Weight Giveaway. And when you reach your goal, I'm going to be proud, bro. Really proud of you to do that video. And uh, it means a lot for you to do that. It's going to change your life, man. You know, I'm, I'm very, very, very stoked for you. Silver Banky, thank you, my brother. I really appreciate that, guys. I'm getting a little, honestly, a little choked up. Um, and, uh, you know, I, I, I think that is so admirable, man. It takes a lot, you know. And uh, Silver Banky, man, I wish I could go to a coin show. <laughs> I really do. Alrighty, so let me put all this in here for Kathy's Corner. Kathy, thank you very much. Sorry we didn't get you much out of your roles, my friend, but I do appreciate you being a part of this. And a big thank you to all the donators. We're going to do HD Flatheads 2 rolls, and then we'll do the end of stream giveaway, guys, and we'll call it a night. Um, 
but but yeah. CZ says me and Riley are related, so I'll probably buy something too. Nice. And uh but yeah, I uh I've lost a couple family members that were really big. You know, um and the doctors basically said that it was their body was too much for their heart to handle it, guys, and Yeah. I, I, I don't really like even kind of talking about it because it's unfortunate to lose people, you know? Life's hard sometimes, guys. <laughs> All right, last roll. Come on, HD. Can we get something out of his rolls for him? I don't see anything obvious. We might have an NIFC here. Yay! We got an NIFC. Actually, that's the second NIFC for him. So... Not too bad for HD Flathead getting a couple NIFCs. Wish we could have gotten you some free silver out of it, brother. But if I remember, you know what? I'm going to put a Merc in your bag, my bro. Just so that you get some silver sent to you as well. Uh, HD. Um, Leslie is very cool. Always watches and supports the channel. I really appreciate it. World is rough and wants to beat you down harder, but that's when you rise up and fight harder. Yes, sir. You always got to pick yourself up and start again, right? Yeah, number one risk factor for COVID is obesity. It's just unfortunate. Shane Kennedy, I lost weight from just from changing my diet. I found out I was allergic to wheat and had to switch to gluten-free. And just by that, I had to cut out all the sweets. I love so much. And can only eat stuff with no wheat. You'd be surprised how much of everything has wheat in it. Shane, almost everything is made with wheat or has a milk product in it. Guys, J Dog with 370 viewing hours. That is awesome. HD Flathead, you're welcome, my friend. You're welcome. All right, guys. We are to that time. We are to the last part of the show where we are going to give away the end of stream. So for tonight's end of stream, what we have is a Kennedy half, a Washington quarter, a Merck dime, a really cool. The camera doesn't do this justice, guys, but this is a blue toned nickel. I am sitting on a number of these blue tone proof nickels. I give them out once in a while because they're awesome. They're still in the cellophane, so nobody can say that anybody, uh, you know, are artificially toned it. You have proof because it's still in there. Mr. Marmello with a $5 super chat. I feel it, bro. Just pay it forward in a little spicy bird nest. I, Mr. Raven, Raven. <laughs> um, Larry said, I lost my dad March 3rd of 2020. He had a massive heart attack. Been way overweight. Was a major, fa major factor. I've been wanting to lose weight ever since. Larry, I'm very sorry for your loss, brother. That is very unfortunate, my friend. And I can't say anything to make that better. Hey, Deborah Walls. Good to see you, my friend. All right, guys. Uh, good Thank you to Dr. Days, Ty Hitman, JB Silver, CM Silver, Chris Nab, His and Her Coin, Sergeant Stacker, Rockzilla, Dewey Cheatham and Howe, Budget Bullion, and Kathy's Corner for being tonight's donators. We really do appreciate you. Everybody in the Raven Nation, you are awesome. Let's do the giveaway, guys. Um, I'm going to do this right now. Just give me one second. And this is EOS. And you get a box of dots. and more <laughs> all right so we're gonna make this a three minute timer so good luck everybody we'll turn on the bot and hey at least we did find some silver tonight we did get a benji and we starting the larry pal lose weight a -thon. and larry we're gonna make it worth your while buddy we got love for you, man. You've been a very, like I said, very good, positive dude. I really pay attention to that, and it means a lot to me when I see people that act like that. 
All right, guys, a big shout out to all the members. Of course, my very first member ever, Vicky C of the Fam, followed by NCFX, STI, CM Silver, Canadian, Ryan, Papa Cryptos, Bill Gibson, uh, JW Coins and Hobby, Big Mill Hunt Silver, Badlands 44, Xanner, Jason 4343, Nickel Nations, Coins and More, Arrow Coins, uh, Rob Finds Treasure, Betty Jane, Mustang Dave, Frank Rush, Hillbilly, Scott Jarvey, Jeff S and G, Cha-Ching Seeker, Jack Stack Silver, Pro Slice 56, it's Suzy Q96, William Shea, Louie Taylor, Tim Eisman, Gringo, OG22, Bub Zalicious, Roy Hathaway, Caribbean Coins, I90 Coins, Weave Man 77, Mickey Robs Banks, Old White Guy, Brass Junkie, Retro Robbie, Ty Hitman, uh, Gary Henderson, William Fowler, Sergeant Stacker, Josh Schultz, Super Jaw 29, Michelle Iberola, Aaron the Collector, Cat, 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 Man, Dewism, uh, Penny Dog, Dr. Days, Laughing Rooster, Silver Bull 30, Robert Worley, Silver Seeker, Peggy Hunts Everything, Mr. Mark Mello, Clay 37, John Scott, Rose Dragon, VC Coins Nevada, Full Push Metals, Sparkle Flare, Ali Savvy Stacker, Moose 2K20, Bills Coins and Treasures, Silver Soldier of Fortune, Military Coins, Keith Andre, Swagalicious, Jeff Brown, Silver Hair Seeker, Michael Ellis, Allison Silverland, Capital Currency, Plumber Stacker, uh, Sir Benji, A Foot for Silver, A.W. Ranch, Cujo 80676, David Donovan, Wolfie Olin, Michael and Lord Zachary Burnett, Walter Winter, Leslie W., Papa Guido, Papa Guido Frank, um, Thomas Putman, Rick Howe Jr., and Larry Powell II. Thank you very, very much, every single one of you, a Raven Nation member. And I got a lot of love for you, you know. And right there, Larry Powell, and you will get, you got this, my friend. We're going to have a lot of fun. Des Logic says, two hours later. <laughs> you know, I need to get the rolling screen thing, but I figure people like hearing their name. You know, done live. Since I don't write the private notes I used to, I kind of try to make it up in other ways. Alrighty, guys. It should be about time to pick the winner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Who's it going to be? Three, two, one. Boom. Michael Hargis with the win, ladies and germs. So Michael Hargis getting himself some free silver and getting himself one of the beautiful blue Jefferson Nichols. They're very cool. I really dig them. They're in their little original cellophane. And uh, I think you'll like it, brother. He says, wow, awesome. Thanks, everybody. Plus, he got himself a, ba a box, a box of dots, courtesy of Dave Sr., Okay, guys, and in the near future, I am still planning on having guests. Um, I got to figure out the bugs in the system here. But, uh, Michael, you're very welcome, my friend. And you'll be surprised. These dots are super fresh. So put that over there. And jump back over to chat so I can say goodnight to everybody. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you everybody for being here. All the mods, CM Silver, Canadian Ryan, Silver Streak, Brass Junkie, Robert Worley, Jesse O, Peter Bowes, J Dog. Um, by chance, did you send that email? Says Desk Logic. Looking forward to your food food critique on the bar. Says Wolfie. Uh, Des Logic, I'm not sure what you mean, my friend. And uh, go on and raid my Silver Squad, says Leslie W. If anybody knows the uh, address for them, go ahead and throw it in the link. Michael Kittle, thank you for being here, brother. I appreciate you, my friend. Uh, Coin Under the Scope. Oh, yeah, that is for uh, flat. Oh, man. Thank you. That goes to... Uh, Flathead. I almost didn't give him his stuff. So HD Flathead, you got your coins. 
And uh, Mr. Marmello says, me mod. <laughs> uh, yes, Mr. Marmello, j Dog, uh, uh, Brass Junkie, Silver Streak, Chasing the Gold, Rose Dragon Coins, Budget Bullion Stacker, Sergeant Stacker, anybody I missed. Like always, please make sure to take care of one another, and we'll see you very, very soon. Hey, Auto Meineke, thank you for coming in. Like always, please make sure to take care of one another, and we'll see you real soon. Raven Hot Coins, have a great day.